What is up? It's Tony, the Driven Dad, and welcome back to another curry route. I did a curry earlier today for like 68 bucks or so. I'm going back for another one for $38. So almost $100 in curry today, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to let this uh, stream get populated. And it's been a while since I've live streamed, so if nobody joins, that's okay. I am working on getting my YouTube channel back into the consistency mode. I've got a few videos to edit. It's just been a real busy last few months of just grinding it out. Hey, what's up, Derek? Welcome back. Thanks for joining. So I'm on my way to pick up curry number two for the day. I've done a deliver that. I've done a, a lift black. I've done a, uh, a DoorDash. And I did a catering slash Foodsby route for a local company here. Uh, off of the apps know exactly what I'm gonna get paid on that I'm gonna guess between 60 and eighty dollars I just reconnected with them haven't done deliveries for, for them since I had covid in uh, last year and in, in, uh, what was it October or September? But I did a Uber Eats for them yesterday and they were, the owners were there and the guy that was coordinating everything with me, I guess he got a, he moved out of state and everything. So they didn't have all of my contact information. So I guess I should have checked in with them a long time ago. Especially now that large order program is just complete trash. I won't say complete trash because I've gotten a few good orders on it, but sitting there digging through DoorDashes for catering is just a brutal process. I want to eliminate DoorDash out of my out of my uh, tool belt, my gig tool belt, I wanna put that down at the bottom, like at the very bottom, below Uber, below Lyft, below Uber Eats, below Grubhub. I wanna put DoorDash all the way down to the bottom. What's up, Steve? Steve, I'm working on my second uh, Sherwin today. I am working on a little vlog for today as well. I've got a couple of vlogs to edit and everything. It's just a matter of finding the pockets of time to do that. Nice, Steve. Yeah, I did uh, I did a deliver that, a lift black, a curry, local catering for a local company over by where I work. Um, and now I'm working on the second curry. Oh, you did one from Brian too? Dang, bro, we missed each other. <laughs> hey, what's up, Ron? Yeah, definitely knocking him out. I mean, if he's got another one going, did you go down to Elizabeth, Steve, or out to Aurora. Or maybe even Bennett. I went to Bennett earlier today. <laughs> nice. Nice one, Derek. Okay. So yeah, you got that second Bennett. I was doing a catering run for the local company when that one came in. 
but you snagged it up before I could even think about what to do with it. <laughs> yeah, there was right after that one was probably getting complete. You probably got that uh, Denver one that was like almost $30 or so for like four miles. It was pretty good. Hey, what's up, Randy? Long time. It's my fault, mostly. <laughs> Yeah, so you did pick that one up. <laughs> yeah, there was a, quite a few curries popping in that were decent that if I didn't have a commitment with the local company. Uh, Randy, I've just been real busy, hard to do YouTube and everything. Uh, just when Lisa's doing the first year of the baby, it's hard to balance everything out where she's able to help out. Um, but the baby's starting to do some solids and so she might get on the road a little bit too. So, oh, whoop. my phone fell on the ground. I just heard it. Oh, it's the sound of Curry saying I've made it. Nice, Steve. I'm about the same for the day, too. I would imagine I haven't added it all up uh, before I did the catering route I was at uh, $130 with the morning catering and the morning curry and the morning um, uber or lift black and then $130 between those three and then um i'm thinking that i'll be making around 80 bucks or so from the local catering route i did and then this one's just under 40. uh randy i i think that they're partnered with a couple of things, but I've only gotten a couple of offers on that. I'll be right back. I'm going to load this thing up. Uh, let's close that trunk. I'll open it while I'm out there. Keep the cool air going. So these are all jacked up. Oh, no. <laughs> they weren't jacked up earlier, right? Because I did one earlier. The one I... Oh, okay. Whoops. I'm sorry. I'm trying to go to the view delivery details. Okay. So you got the one that has the wrong Okay. I know the Elizabeth ones are always crazy. Yeah, but... so she, what had happened is she grabbed that one this one, this oh, one was still set, so I can cancel. So I had to reset all of them. And okay. Up. You're going to Climber Street? That's a new address. Do you know where Penn Road is? Yeah. Okay. Do you know where, so there's Anthony out there. It's the next one over is Climber. Okay. So it's on that set where all the houses are. Yep. If you follow your pin, you go. It's going to take me a little to bit the, to the other side, yeah. but I found that one time. But yeah. So this is in that set where I've been dropping off the pins. The pins. 
And then, so is that the right address for where I'm dropping? That is the right street, uh, the, the right digits for the street. Okay. The street might be C L M P E R something. Okay. Or climber. I, I can't understand him on the phone at the time. Right. I mean, it's all like um, Independence, 1776 yep. names. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move there. <laughs> Oh man! So I so did she drop off for the other one then? Or? No, she came back. She had to because they're dump. Old. <laughs> oh man! And was she on Curry or was she, she on? She was a... on Curry. Oh she man! Right. We didn't have her drop the other one off, but like I don't. That one's canceled. My head's like. Man. Hopefully <laughs> soon we'll be able to take both, and then she could have just had them both. <laughs> Well, that sounds like a disaster. Be back in the chat in a moment here. All right, I'm back. Nice, Steve. So, Randy, your mom had eight kids. <laughs> Are you trying to... Challenge me on that 25 grandkids? Wow. Oh, um, I, I'll go back in and check and see if Brian's in there.
there was another guy. Oh, Derek, you got to get on the dash. Yeah, Steve, looks like Brian must be at lunch or something. <laughs> yeah, I'll pick up another one if they send it out, and I'll do that. Oh, sh Well, let's see. I got it. forgot to take a picture of the, the load. Um, I try to charge for free as much as possible, Randy, but during the day, they're in the low 30s to mid 30s at most of the chargers here in Denver, which I'm going to have to use. And then at home, it's pretty cheap, like four to six dollars. Right, we'll get to Elizabeth and then we'll figure it out when we get there. So I'm going to get there with 24%, so I'm definitely going to have to charge so I get out of that place. When I have to use the superchargers in the middle of the day, I try to just go up to 50% and try to make it until I can either free charge or get a... Um, and I'm not full self-driving with a load of paint in here because the car will hit the accelerator and knock things over. Oh, dang. Ten kids, huh? So I'm going to get a trailer and a rickshaw curry paint. Nice, Steve. I'm looking at getting a. I'm thinking of getting a a Toyota, like a Toyota Prius, for as well as my seventeen-year-old and then my soon-to-be sixteen-year-old, so they have a vehicle to drive. They can drive to school instead of Lisa driving them to school with and stuff like that. Because they only, I mean, they only got one day of school to drive to, so. Yeah, you are going to get ripped. These paint things are not light. So you're going to start off with a trailer, Steve, and then work your way up to like a cargo or something like that or yeah we definitely need to sit down with Brian did you have that girl uh, subscribe to your channel Steve Oh, I thought you said rate a trailer. 
Oh, so she's probably already subscribed. Some reason I thought you said you were going to get a trailer for paint. Yeah, if I do more curry, I'm gonna definitely get in some exercise. I'm gonna put in some uh, some put perfect push-up handles into the car so I can do some push-ups while I'm waiting for something to come in worth doing. Here we go. Mr. Richards, what's up? I do all of them. So a dasher that's new to Curry, Steve. Yeah, so I do all of the apps pretty much. Um, I've got a channel announcement hopefully next week. pretty exciting. I want to say it. But I want to wait till everything's verified and confirmed and everything. But hold on a second. I got to call Lisa real quick. Yeah, I forgot to tell her that I was going live and then she called this phone. Knocked me out for a second there. Yeah, so I got a Tesla full of paint right now. I need to expand my reach of curry outside of uh just sherwin williams <laughs> yeah so a little bit of channel planning here um i don't want to pay extra for lisa to be on the tesla and I need another vehicle for the kids to be able to use and not take the whole car. So when they get their jobs or need to go somewhere like youth group or something, 
Um, it's not a whole operation of movement for the whole family when it's just the two older teenagers needing to do something. And that way they don't have the only other car that we have at the house. So I'm looking at getting a Prius because they're really good on fuel efficiency and uh, then Lisa can do some some gig work in the evenings so maybe she can get some videos going again and, and uh, so what are you doing right now oh I'm doing a curry yeah so second curry delivery of the day um, you see the Grubhub bag right there. I just had to throw it out of the way because it was in the hatchback area. Curry is a last mile delivery. A lot of different construction companies mainly use it to get stuff from point A to the work site usually. And um, currently the curry I'm doing is a a paint run from Sherwood. So yeah, I'm gonna Lisa get that um, evening deliveries and uh, that will get me back at the house a little bit with the kids in the evenings. And I'll be able to do some more editing of videos and get the channel back into consistency mode. And then maybe Lisa will be able to get some videos going back on the Driven Mom as well. While we work out the details and the plan for the Driven Family uh, channel. Hold on. All right, so the Bubba, he's got some strep throat possibly going on. He had a fever yesterday. It's totally not feeling good. Um, complaining, his fever kind of died down today. So we thought maybe he was getting like a molar or something, but now he's complaining about his throat. So he's got, Lisa was calling me to tell me she's got a doctor's appointment set up for him in about an hour from now. So hopefully we can get that taken care of and he can get well. Because whenever he's sick, he can't do this peanut therapy stuff and we're so close to the end of it. For those of you who don't know, Tony Bubba, my three-year-old, the only boy we got, he is the only one with food allergies, and he's allergic to peanuts, eggs, and um, cats and dogs, although cats and dogs are not food, but those are the animals he's allergic to, and so 
we're working on the peanut therapy so that he can be immune to that allergy. But whenever he gets sick, he can't can't be on the on the therapy so that his immune system is super super taxed trying to fight off allergies and sickness. So hopefully it's not strep and it's something easy. But and if it is strep, hopefully nobody else got it. So I'm still about 15 minutes away from this drop off. Then I've got to go to the supercharger, charge up to about 50%. And then from there, go pick up the payment for the local delivery. And Hopefully that will kick off the evening, right? I haven't even checked the Uber map because I've been so busy with things. Yeah, it doesn't look like any surge going on yet. But we got playoffs coming for the abs and the nuggets. So that should help Rideshare get busy. And then concert seasons kicked off in multiple areas, so. I'm headed down to Elizabeth. What's up, Lisa? Uh, Bella is getting a snack while trying to help her with math. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, math seems to make that child hungry. Oh, I need to turn here. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to go down to this gas station and make a U-turn. A lot of people lined up for this turn. I'm I may end up losing signal in Elizabeth. It's not the greatest place for uh, for signal coming up here. Tesla Grand. Hey, what's up? Did you ever get that extra tax money from the pandemic for self-employment? I I did get the amendment done. I just sent off the paperwork for it yesterday. Um, looks like around it's gonna be quite a quite a bit of money. It's gonna help with this. Uh, getting out of debt process for sure it'll take between a quarter and a third of the debt away i think oh thanks for hopping in lisa love you too Which will be nice because the pandemic is how I ended up with some of this debt, for sure. Not all, not all of it, but probably about the portion of money that will cover about the portion of money that I ended up going into debt with from the pandemic. The U.S. mail truck out here in Elizabeth is a off-road vehicle, a 90s looking uh, I need a is we can uh, get some challenges going.
All right. My payment from the curry earlier just went through, so successfully. Hey, how's it going, Ellen? Hopefully you can hear me and I don't have terrible signal right now. Going through like a black forest area. It's never the best for signal out here. About five minutes away from drop off. Red phone, what's up? What's good? I'll have to watch your vid on it to see what it's about. Yeah, um, head on over to Steve Rideshare Rodeo. He's got a whole playlist of last mile information. But Curry is a last mile app for like construction companies or contractors like uh, HVAC, plumbing, paint, stuff like that, hardware. Yes, I am doing a curry, uh, Ellen. So this current one I'm working on is like 18 miles for $38. And I did one earlier for 23 miles for Sixty-six dollars. Twenty-six miles for sixty-six dollars. Yeah. So Steve and I did a uh, kind of like a best practice type video about it, <clears throat> where we simulcasted his channel and my channel. But on his channel, the Rideshare Rodeo, he's got a playlist of. The last mile is what it's called for the podcast slash video podcast. Going into a turn lane. Even though I've got version 12.3.3, the full self drive still takes wrong turns. Steve, there's a Ziggy's copy out here if you're still on here. We could do a show from there. I'm gonna make sure. Seems like I was supposed to turn there, but. I don't know.
I'll end up getting lost on this order for sure. Probably gonna have to go into my history and pull up an address of one of the places I dropped off at already. Because I definitely think I've gone too far. We'll look around though, we'll look around. This is definitely not where I need to be. <laughs> not at all. Alright, so now I'm in the pinned location where Curry thinks I need to be. I gotta figure out how to get where I need to be. This isn't typically how it works with Sherwin Williams, they're usually on the ball. Um, if you were on earlier, somebody took the wrong order, so it ended up bringing me to the wrong place. Let's see. Yeah, Uber Eats is sucking right now, so are the other delivery apps with Uber and their weird prices and no surges. Yeah, yeah, for sure, I know. I agree, man. Yeah, definitely check out Curry. Get on the wait list for it um, so you can get off of it fast. All right. I've just got to go back through here and find... find a uh, address that's close to where he said this is going to be at.
quickly look at this map. All right, um, so Ellen, it's on the StreamYard. There's a, um, under brand, there's a way to add it out, add the music. Um, they have their own music. I uploaded some from uh, from Epidemic Sounds because I use that. And you just select it and there's a slider for the volume for it. But I'm going to have to let you guys go. I've got to figure out where to go on this. And um, thanks for joining. Hopefully you have a profitable day. And remember to stay driven.